Yeah, I think our players are they're eager. You know, they're eager to prove, prove that they are capable of playing in this league. Um, I think they're excited about you know just the vibe that we have right now uh, moving forward. And we haven't been around them a lot, you know, this this, this week. But um, I think our guys are working extremely hard. Coach Walker, our strength staff, they do a great job with them. So uh, I'm excited. You know, I'm excited about spring ball, which is here in about five weeks, and we'll be able to get on the field with them and see what we got. Coach, how is the league? Yeah. Fit in Is that to, again? Uh, your quarterback recruit. How does he fit into which one? Malik or Malik? I'm sorry. Malik. Yes. Malik. Malik. Right. And how does he fit into what it is that you want to get installed here that, that is it's so important to have a quarterback like that for your system to work? I don't want to say that you have to have a quarterback like that for the system to work. Um, but it definitely gives you more options. You know, in, in the league, is we're on a similar system in high school. Coach Williams and their offensive staff have done a good job at Thurgood Marshall High School. And, um, you know, it's a system that I think he can relate to easily. And I think that's one of the things that, that helps us uh, with him. But, you know, he's a very talented guy. I mean, I can call a bad play and he can make it right. You know, so guys like that are fun to coach. So um, excited to get him up here in, in June and go to work. We saw so many, uh, so many offenses going with this RPO, and it does come with some dangers, as we saw with Charlie Brewer. When you can like, get out there and run, uh, it can it can be tough. Uh, as a coach, how do you how do you balance that? You, you don't want too many hits on your guy, but every once in a while they're going to have to take off and tuck it. Yeah, and, and it all depends on you know the scheme that you're running. You know what. Charlie Brewer, what he was doing, I don't know what, what their scheme was, you know, with ours. Hopefully our guys know where the danger is and they can get themselves out of it. Um, obviously you got to block, you know, and at some point you are going to get hit. I mean, it is a game of football, so uh, it's important to keep that guy upright. As you look at the personnel here, I mean, you haven't been here a long time, but based on what the previous staff brought in, which appeared to be some pretty top-notch receivers, how does what they have now look to you as you head in to try and put your stamp on it? Yeah, it's hard to tell, you know, unless you've been on the grass with them and you can see them react. You know, everything right now is controlled movements. You know, the guys are in there stepping when they want to step, and, and there's nobody in front of them that are making them react. So once you get a guy on the field and you put pads on them, it's a completely different game. So, you know, we'll, we'll judge them then and, um, you know, when we get in the spring balls that we got. Recruiting-wise, what did you hear uh, in your few weeks of uh, hitting the trail trying to sell this place? Uh, how, how did that go? Just from high school coaches? Yes. Uh, you know, what, like, what are they saying, and how did how did you feel about being able to sell this place? Felt great. I mean, surely being here in the state of Arkansas, recruiting um, all the people here, extremely fired up. Obviously, no Coach Pittman, um, and I think pretty excited about the staff that, that he put together. Um, and then the other places where we're spot spot recruiting, feel like everybody's excited about the direction. Uh, the people that know Coach Pittman are definitely behind. Him. Yesterday, Malik pointed out y'all's relationship. Can you speak to what it was like recruiting him and getting him on board? Yeah, I've just I've known the kid for a long time. Known him since his freshman year, um, and, and offered him recruiting him when I was at Houston. So, you know, he's a kid that I've, I've followed, I've watched, I've talked to him while we were at, we were at Florida State last year, and uh, just always had a relationship with him. And um, because I thought he's a really good kid and a good player, and so. Never took the job here and got announced publicly as one of the first guys I've called. And uh, fortunately, you know, he, he uh, didn't sign in that early period and got a chance to come up here on campus. Coach Pittman said that you were on his list of people he wanted to talk to early, but he said you called him first. He got a call from a Texas number. Was yep. Almost almost didn't answer the phone. Just Can you tell us how that transpired with you being hired? Yeah, I just I, I knew that he had the job. and. Uh, Kind of did my research on him a little bit. I'd heard of him a lot just because I was in Tallahassee and regionally, just with him being there in Athens. Um, talked to some people about him and heard he was a great man, great person, and knew he had an opening, so I called him and can't believe he answered the phone. We talked for about 15, 20 minutes, and two days later I was down here interviewing. So uh, it's crazy how it works out, and uh, I'm glad he answered the phone. Your philosophy and your offensive system, how, how long does something like that take to implement, uh, to install, I guess? Do you, you feel like that's something that your guys will be ready to run when the season starts, or is it something that's going to be take a little longer? When the season starts, it better be. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my goodness, but... Uh... Like the whole lot, like... The whole offense, and I can t I can tell you, like past staff just said, well, we've got about thirty percent installed. I mean, we're it all depends on the kids and what they can retain. You know, I'm not going to force anything on them that's not going to allow them to be successful. Um, 
I plan on having 85 percent of what we do in my spring ball. I mean, there's no reason not to. They give us 15 practices. I know we're going to get some time uh, built in through our, our string program to be able to, to be on the field, not with footballs or anything, but be with the guys. Um, so I don't see why there's any reason we can't have that. Depending on our personnel, you know, if, if we don't feel good about a certain personnel grouping, then, then we won't be able to run that. But um, yeah, I mean, you'd like to have everything in that way when you line up against the body, you're ready to go. Can you talk about the importance of getting up to five quarterbacks? Is that kind of your number, and you know, getting both Franks and Hornsby out of this group? Yeah, you just you know you wanted to upgrade the room. Any anytime you go somewhere, you want to get the best available people you can get to help you win. Um, and knowing that they had three guys here, one that's coming off injury, um, you know, Coach Pippen and I, and officer staff, we wanted a guy that was ready and who's done it. And so that's why you know he went to the grad transfer. And then if you, you know I've got a relationship with Lee Cornsby, and he's you know, the best quarterback available. Let's try to go get him. And so you know, fortunately for us, it worked out. What can you say about Felipe? Great kid, great person. Uh, Zach, which one? Measures, big guy, done it at a high level. And you can, you can buy a lot of things, but you can't buy experience. You know, he's lived it, so he's a guy who's done it. Um, so I look forward to working with him. How did you get start with, with Felipe? How did you guys uh, get in contact with him? Was there any kind of relationship beforehand? Yeah, Brad Davis, our offensive line coach, was at Florida. Maybe three years ago, when Felipe was there, so he had an existing relationship with him. Uh, Felipe was in the portal, so you know, really, I started talking to Felipe as soon as you know I became on staff in Arkansas. Um, and they had had relationships um, already. Coach Pippen had talked to him, and so as soon as that happened, that was my number one guy to go after and try to build that relationship. What What are your thoughts on having Raheem Boyd? in your offense for your first year and you know, kind of impressions of him so far? Uh, you know, Rakeem's a great kid. I know him. Uh, he's just trapped from high school. I recruited there. Um, so I've known Rakeem for a while. So as soon as I saw him, you know, we gave each other a hug. And I'm, I'm so glad that he's back. You know, he's a big time player. Uh, he's a great leader for us right now in the off season. Um, he sees the guy who's done it. So when he, you know, when he talks, people listen. And, uh, you know, he's uh, he's got to continue to get better. You know, that's that's the thing. You had a good year last year. But you got to be great every phase, everything that you do. So that's the things we're working with. What have been your first impressions?